There's unrest and uncertainty at the country's two leading and largest universities over a wage dispute. Academic staff at the University of Technology have taken industrial action over what they say is the government's failure to implement a compensation review agreement. At the University of the West Indies, Mona, disruptions appear to be very close. Duane Anderson has details. Speaking with our new center, Public Relations Officer Tashika Burris Melville says the union made the decision after the deadline given to the Ministry of Finance was not met. This decision was taken after several requests and collaborative efforts to address the long-standing issue. Therefore, at a general meeting of the UTASU convened on November 30th, 2023, the members gave the executive the mandate to take whatever actions necessary to advance and settle the compensation review if it was not received by December 31st, 2023. She says despite the impact of the industrial action, the move was necessary. There is an unresolved salary issue with another bargaining unit on the campus and the Ministry of Finance and Public Service has maintained that it will not decouple the groups, thus will not move forward with other bargaining units until the unresolved issues are settled. We acknowledge and understand the implications that our decision will have on students However, it is crucial to emphasize a healthy and supportive faculty environment is essential for delivering the best possible education. The union says it is one of the few public sector groups who have not been engaged by the Ministry of Finance under the review exercise. The union represents well over 300 academic staff. Meanwhile, members of the West Indies Group of University Teachers in Jamaica are restive following a stalled compensation agreement. The group, which represents educators at the University of the West Indies, Mona, in a letter dated December 22, 2023, encouraged members to withhold marks, not upload course material, and not provide system support unless an emergency situation arises starting January 5. The group says members will also not be attending meetings, holding academic advising sessions, nor providing learning support. This, it says, is in response to the lack of a meaningful offer for an interim cost of living package. The union says the protest action is intended to help secure an interim 25% increase in salary and associated allowances no later than February 29. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.